You like that song, bud? The rocket song. How about you, say? What songs do you like? Um, my Cyrus. <laughs> really? Yeah, I do. The flower song? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's my favorite song. We were gonna go hit a beach and hang out with the kids as I was diving with uh, Jasmine, or I should say snorkeling around for bottles, but this spot isn't really kid friendly, so they're gonna just leave me here for an hour and a half. I get to scope this entire area. Used to be an old fort, probably 1700s. I'm sure there's been a lot of people doing what I have been doing here in the past, but you never know, some hidden gems might pop up. Stuff that was buried by the sand and moved around in the storm. Uh, so, hour and a half to find a cool bottle. Let's make it happen. Bottles or no bottles, I was just happy to snorkel around. It's so magical here. It didn't take me long to find some old black glass though. These pieces would date to a few hundred years old. Unfortunately, most were broken. I did find some applied top beer bottles though. Most likely from the very early 1900s. I saw something peeking out of the sand. Fingers crossed it wasn't broken. Yes. After some research, I discovered it was a snorting tobacco bottle and easily 200 plus years old. Another whiskey. Before the 1920s, clear glass bottles often contained magnesium. Over time, a chemical reaction with the ultraviolet rays from the sun would begin to turn the bottles purple, or amethyst, some would say. It doesn't really appear so from the footage, but this one was a nice hue. Unfortunately, it was broken, but still a fun find for me, nonetheless. Too bad though. Bike theft is a big issue in Bermuda. I found a pretty good spot. I was hoping to make it back here, but I ran out of time. By the way, all these bottles stayed in Bermuda with the in-laws. Nice bottles everywhere, but they're all smashed. Super, super unfortunate. Oh well. Found this guy. He's not broken. Applied top. So kind of cool. Nice aqua blue. Look at that. Some air bubbles in there. Pretty nice. My favorite one is uh, this guy right here. Uh, again, not sure what this would have been for. It's got some embossing, M on the bottom. It's like an olive color, probably a jar of some sort. Look how gorgeous that is. And that was in the fort under some sand where it's probably been for the last 100, maybe even 200 years, who knows? Stoked, I hope it doesn't break on the ride home. And then I got a bunch of these old whiskey bottles, probably the coolest one right here. This guy was hiding under some coral, uh, but you can see the top there also applied. Neat shape on it, a lot of imperfections. No embossing, but be yeah, a nice, nice display bottle for sure. Oh yeah, I found this art breaker too. Purple embossed, but broken. Too bad, so sad. That was a successful hunt. That was awesome. And the kids are having a really good time at the beach. So we're gonna order some food, bring it back here, and mow down. It's time to hang out with the family. Awesome. Had a pretty mellow morning this morning. Uh, Jasmine. I uh, went into town with Lakiba when she went to the gym. She walked around, so I was here with the kids. We were having a good old time, hanging out at the pool. They were playing with Play-Doh, put a show on for them. But uh, Lakiba and Jasmine just got back, so that means time for me to have some fun. Not like I didn't enjoy the time with the kids. Uh, but I'm going to be going to an old fort again, looking around for bottles. We took the boat there on Sunday, but I only got to scope it for boat 20 minutes or half hour. Today I'm gonna put in maybe three hours looking around. So I really hope to find some cool stuff. Later on this evening, meeting up with my buddy Dave. I haven't seen him for probably two years, maybe a bit longer. Uh, but we are going to go spear fishing for lionfish out at John Smith's Bay, I think it's called. Went there with Forest once. Uh, yeah, it's looking pretty nice up there right now. Uh, right off the water, some bigger waves are rolling through now. Uh, biggest I've seen yet here. There's no wind coming offshore though, so it's not too choppy, just uh, just swell. Uh, still a beautiful day, and I'm going to be diving on the north, not the south. So even if there is waves, won't impact me while I'm bottle searching, just when I'm out spearfishing for lionfish. 
going to hit the road. It's a 20-minute drive, Lakiba. Thanks a lot for driving me around. I'm going to have her drive me there. Just going to use the GoPro because I'm going to leave my stuff on shore. I don't want anything stolen, including my work phone. Where are we going? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I wonder if I'll see any of these guys today. Crazy amount of grouper. Uh, we saw seats right off the other day. I tried to bust up my camera, but it dove. Didn't have a chance to uh, film it. Uh, I've seen a lot of these uh, West Indian top shells. Those are protected here. So I get fifty thousand, no, twenty thousand dollar fine if you take one. Crazy. Even the shell that is, not even just the uh, mollusk. Oh yeah, different parrotfish. Uh, cool. Woohoo! Pretty nice, but to be honest with you, I'm uh, gonna dive somewhere else. I'm diving on that side of the uh, on the water, a place that doesn't look as picturesque or exciting. Probably will have more stuff I'm looking for as a result of that. All right, time to leave the family and get geared up. When I say geared up, I need uh, fins and a mask. That's uh, so awesome. A lot of my three hours in the water look something like this. Rummaging through the shallows, sorting through broken glass, in hopes I'd score big. It's probably not the way most would spend their holiday in Bermuda, but I wouldn't have it any other way. In fact, editing up this footage makes me wish I was back there. And my patience paid off. You can tell a lot about a bottle by its design. This one was pitch black, applied top, air bubbles throughout, wonky, and crude as can be. This guy is easily late 1700s to very early 1800s, and my best find to date. And once I found the first one, the second and third quickly reveal themselves. Although I don't believe the result is the first, I'd still date them to the mid 1800s, 175 years old or so. It's pretty crazy when you think of it. I found myself in another school of fry. They were swimming on my back and all over me. Things eventually tapered off, but the first one had already made my day. I did some shallow diving and hung out with the fishies. I didn't even have to dive to see this guy. He kept swimming up to me until I brought out the camera. Murphy's Law. I got one shot though. Well, these are my finds. Got this old whiskey bottle right here. That one's pretty neat. This one here, I don't, I don't know if those uh, skinnier ones, if they're whiskey too, or if they would be beer, but I like that one. This one's my favorite though. This thing's like pitch black. Uh, look at that, a lot of age on this guy. A uh, little short guy, probably like, I don't know, six, seven inches. Yeah, stoked. Diving these spots, they must have been scouted hundreds of times, if not thousands, and I'm still finding stuff. I wish I got here 30, 40 years ago. I'm sure find a lot more. I'm gonna leave a couple here in Bermuda. I'm gonna try to get this guy home. This guy's gonna be one of my uh, favorite on display for that matter. Uh, now I'm gonna go spearfishing for lionfish. Uh, David uh, is gonna come pick me up. Uh, he's from Nova Scotia, fellow East Coaster. I'm from Nova Scotia too, which isn't that far from here. If you look at a map, we're gonna go to John Smith's Bay and shoot some fish. It's gonna be a bit of a rush mission. He's picking me up here at six. It's uh, 5.55 be here in a minute and we're gonna make our way out to the ocean and dive for at least an hour maybe an hour and a half it gets dark around 7 30 so i got my 2500 green sea light i've had the same one now for four years and it's held it down pretty tired three hour snorkel earlier kind of took a lot of my energy but what's well, another hour good yeah. to see you again what's man. up man how's it going very good yeah, yeah. oh here give me yeah, a good yeah, yeah yeah there you go <laughs> My hands full. How you been? Well, uh, very well. You'll recognize uh, this fin. Oh yeah. <laughs> Dope man. You got you got those from uh, from uh, John. You know what? He jumped out. Yeah. Broke one of his fins. Oh no. Broke fin for me. Yeah. Oh hell yeah. That's perfect. <laughs> hen. Yeah yeah. That works so okay. good. Sick dude. Perfect. All right. Let's get rolling. Are we looking for lobster or lonefish? Both. They're legal. Both? Yeah yeah. Oh no, nice. Lobsters are legal off. You got, a, you got a license too, eh? Oh, yeah. Nice, dude. One of the 175. Yeah, uh, Garth tried to try to buy one and he wasn't able to. Nice. Apparently, the lobster fishery in Bermuda isn't in the greatest shape, and there are talks of a complete license suspension for the following season. It's a drag, but at least they're keeping an eye on things and are willing to implement tough, unpopular measures. The sun was quickly setting, and although the sky was bright, the waters were dark at this point. We did our best and scoted around the bottom, but the swell, poor viz, and lack of sunlight wasn't doing us any favors. It was just nice to be in the water, no complaints from me. 
David offered to film me for a drop or two, and he ended up getting a really cool shot. These large fish appeared out of nowhere and swam away just as quickly. We asked around, but were unable to get a positive ID. My friend thinks it was a tarpon, but wasn't sure. Maybe we'll just have to add it to another mystery of the Bermuda Triangle. It was a beautiful evening, and we both had some fun, but eventually we admitted defeat and called her a night. Thanks for taking me out, David. It's great to catch up. On the next episode, we have some better luck, so stay tuned. Peace, everybody. Throw the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Cheers.